Hi, welcome you all. Uh, I'm Dr. Raviraj, Professor and Head of the Department of Computer Science Engineering, Kalangir Karwanadi Institute of Technology, Kwayamthu. It's my pleasure to deliver the presentation about the lexical analysis in compiler design. First, I would like to give the outline in which I am going to present in this particular lecture. That is, the first one is role of lexical analyzer. Second one is specification of tokens. Third one is recognition of tokens. These are the three important key aspects which we are going to discuss under this lexical analysis. First, I would like to brief about the role of the lexical analysis. Actually, the compiler is a system software which is act as a translator to convert the high level language into the machine understandable language. The compiler is made up of the six different phases. That is, the first phase of the compiler is lexical analyzer. That is why we are going to discuss now the, what is the role of lexical analyzer inside the compiler during the time of compilation. First point shows that this is the first phase of the compiler. So first act as the first phase of the compiler, which is used to read the input characters and produce the output sequence of tokens, which is the output actually reads our source program character by character, then it frames the token then it gives the token as output to the next uh, phase of the compiler that is syntax analyzer that is the the token is act as the output for the next phase of the compiler that is called a syntax analysis apart from that it is also responsible for eliminating the comments and white spaces which are all not a part of the source program Next, one more thing is in lexical analyzer during the time of lexical analyzing time, it will produce the error message also if any kind of errors occur during the time of uh, recognizing the tokens, it will list out those particular errors during the time of lexical analysis. This is the diagram which shows the role of lexical analyzer here. So see that here we are given our source program whatever program we did in uh, using C language or C++ or Java that programs act as a source program which gives that input to the lexical analyzer. The lexical analyzer is the first phase of the compiler. It retrieves all the symbols that it means identifier from the simple table then to recognize all the keywords, identifiers, uh, everything it will analyze character by character. Then it frames a token. That token which gives us an input to the next phase of the compiler that is syntax analyzer. In syntax analyzer, parser is one of the main part of the main part uh, um, plays a major role inside the syntax analyzer. Then during the time of lexical analyzer, we we'll be facing a lot of issues. That issues will be resolved inside that lexical analyzer by the compiler designer. That is actually the, during the time of compilation, the task is divided into two parts. One is um, uh, analysis part, another one is synthesis part. So in analysis phase of compilation, the first two phase of the compiler, that is lexical analyzer and syntax analyzer both are integrated each other both are independent each other because the first phase lexical analyzer receives the source program it reads character by character then it frames a token that token goes as an input to the next phase that is syntax analyzer here you see that one of the very uh, important features in lexical analyzer is it's a simpler design. The designer they made that face is very simple to read and frames the token. It also reduced the complexity and it also divided its task 
then it completes that particular job. Compiler efficiency is also used in implementing uh, effective buffer techniques for generating the tokens. Third one is the portability is very very important. Compiler portability is immense uh, the help of uh, the features of lexical analyzer. In lexical analyzer we would see three important types that is tokens, patterns and lexics. We must know the difference between tokens, patterns and lexics because these three important terms are dependent to each other. Sometimes we may in confusion to understand what is token, what is pattern and what is lexics. Here, token is a technically, uh, it's a technical term which grouping that particular readable characters from the source program. That is, for example, if we declared as integer A means that int int is a keyword, that A is a identifier. That is called as token. Int is a keyword, is a token. A is an identifier, is a token. So it logically group our input uh, character into one category that is called as token. Then what is pattern means? It, the token has been framed based on some protocols or based on some rules and regulation which is defined earlier. That is called as pattern. For example, when we say it's an identifier, uh, suppose int a, a is an identifier, we used to say identifier is a token, but a, what is, uh, why we call it as a is an identifier, means, because identifier means it must start with the alphabet, and one more exception is underscore, it may start with alphabet or underscore, that is the rule of, rule has been framed for defining identifier. Suppose A5 is an identifier, but 5A is not an identifier because the first letter must be the alphabet or underscore symbol. Then only it will be considered as the identifier. The next third term is lexeme. What is lexeme means? The actual uh, term, which is actual word or sentence which is given inside the source program is called as lexeme. So that here they are given a sequence of character in the source program that is actual uh, coding which is present inside the uh, programs we used to call it as uh, let's say these are the three important keywords we must know inside the lexical analyzer here this is one best example we can understand easily what is token what is pattern what is let's say here if you look at if if is a predefined keyword so lexeme means the, the sentence which is inside that uh, program pattern means it, uh, it uh, i and f is a predefined keyword then if is considered as a keyword else is also a keyword here if you look at some greater than equal to not equal to symbols it groups under the relational operator pattern is a relational operator that will be considered as the comparison operators here next one is pi pi is a defined user defined variable it is called a side fair what is the rule of what is the pattern for, for defining the identifier is letter followed by letter and digits that is the rule this is called as pattern based on that rule we define this sample lexeme as identifier id stands for identifier similar way next one is number constant values and some literal uh, constant values here we just see the different attributes of tokens for example here we used to have one formula e is equal to mc square that is this uh, e is an identifier that will be stored inside the simple table 
with some address memory address so the simple table entry is denoting that e that is considered as identifier this e equal to assignment operator this m is another identifier inside the simple table which is stored then c is also yeah this is multiplication operator c is another identifier then exponential operator then the number value 2 so likewise this is one simple formula but this formula has been um, uh, defined by the lexical analyzer and it also stored inside the simple table with its corresponding entry that is the role of lexical analyzer then we have uh, some consideration for design lexical analyzer if you want to design one lexical analyzer what are the consideration we want to keep it in our mind that is very 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 important so the first one is free format input it can be accepted any kind of input there is no uh, kind of predefined um, nature it is free format input then only it will be uh, acceptable for any kind of uh, programming platform the next one is blank significance that is it must uh, 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 it must know uh, it must separate the keyword and the identifier based on the empty space for example here if you see that example int a there is no space at all uh, int space a so int is a keyword a is an identifier we can understand but here we see that int a there is no space and automatically this int a is not a, um, it's automatically considered as an identifier there is no data type here then keyword because in program there are so many inbuilt keywords sometimes we use some important keywords at that time the lexical analysis can easily recognize that particular keyword we store that particular keyword then some uh, types of errors may happen during the time of lexical analysis that is maybe a typing error or some kinds of uh, input errors for example here we can see one example here f5 if actually we want to give if but mistakenly they may type as f5 so automatically the compiler doesn't know instead of if it may consider f5 as an identifier actually if is a keyword but here f5 may be considered as identifier because of this type of mistake sometimes based on the uh, corresponding syntax it may assume and it will give that kind of lexical errors to correct those typographical errors then there are some error recovery methodologies you have to follow inside the uh, lexical analyzer the best way is panic mode it's one of the very popular error recovery method which is used inside the lexical analyzer if we may type some extra character means we can delete some character if you forget to type some character we can insert a character then if you want to replace we can replace the character we want to transport two characters to transpose two characters we can uh, transpose those two adjacent characters this kind of uh, small small uh, adjustable uh, error recovery method is called as panic mode error recovery methods then in lexical analyzer it is doing two kind of important jobs when it is compiling that particular source program actually inside the lexical analyzer actually the role of lexical analyzer is it receives source program and convert reads character by character then forms a token but while forming the token there are two methods they are following inside that lexical analyzer one is specification of token another one is recognition of token in specification of tokens how oh, the algorithm has been written for specifying the token means the help of regular expression regular expression is one of the um, concept which has been already we have studied inside the theory of computations because regular expression is a kind of expression to define the input inside the automata 
So, for example, here, if you look at some example here, this lambda is 